gentlemen, welcome to the MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas as we have a big night of boxing. We begin the evening, eight rounds in the lightweight division. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside will be Kermit Bayless, Lisa Giampa, and Ricardo Ocasio. The referee in charge when the bell sounds is Robert Hoyle. Introducing to you first, fighting to my right out of the red corner. He comes in wearing the white with the red, weighing officially at 136 pounds. His record a perfect one, five wins, two of those coming by way of a knockout. Fighting out of Delray Beach, Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Arturs Amitovs. And across the ring, his adversary fighting out of the blue corner. He comes in wearing the blue trunks trimmed with the white, weighing in officially at 137 pounds. He also enters this bout undefeated. Ten wins, nine of those coming by way of a knockout. Fighting out of right here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Rolando Roli Romero. Thanks, Lance. Thank you, Lance. Much better. Yes, I mean, anything on the belt line is a low blow. Anything on the belt line here will be a fair shot because it's above your navel. Touch him up. Obey my commands. All right, we're ready to go here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Once that man steps into the ring, Rolando Romero, the man you know as Rollis, He's got this mad, mad mug, kind of a... He's going to go right to this guy and get things started early. Ooh, nice little quick check hook from Rollies. He was discovered by Floyd Mayweather Jr. He's had legendary ring wars at the Mayweather Boxing Club. And he hopes that Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather will guide him to a world title opportunity in 2020 in this lightweight division which is loaded with talent and built-in rivalries with a lot of young guys that have a ton of pop. And he's getting away with the style that he has right now of throwing everything hard. He's throwing a jab and not really committing to it in the previous fights that I've seen. It works until it doesn't work, Bernardo. So he's going to have to keep learning other aspects of his game as he keeps progressing. 100%. It's the quality of opposition is what really proves just how good of a prospect you are and so far in his 10 professional fight has been scheduled for eight rounds nice left hand from romero as he walks down amatovs oh nice counter there from the latvian fighter see when you're in range to get your shots and you're looking for big power shots you better believe your opponent is as well and the young fighter has to keep that in mind amatovs is a former Latvian champion at the amateur level. Had an extensive amateur career spanning seven years from 2010 to 2017. <laughs> Got 21 rounds spot in five fights. Romero has two more rounds in twice as many fights. So he gets guys out of there. Watch your heads, guys. Watch your heads. Let him go. Hands free. Let him go. Box out. Quick combination on the break from Amatov. <laughs> Now you see that one-two from Romero, whose father was an amateur Cuban fighter. Said he was problematic, so in a communist country that does not fly, so he was never part Off of the head. Off his head. Olympic team. Stop! But he got some of his training there when he lived in Cuba at the age of seven, did Rolando Romero. So Rolly's doesn't look like he's got much of a defensive style, but no, it's not, him. not at all. I mean, he's gotten hit with probably, you know, almost eight to ten flush shots and it was just unnecessary you know when you're facing this level of competition in the first round you should be establishing your jab establishing the range staying out of harm's way and looking to set, set your bigger shots up over the course of the next couple rounds so again he's getting hit too early and too often for my for my life off his head off his head stop here comes the bell let's break clean time amatovs Bell tolls for round number two. This is a scheduled eighth rounder. The first time either guy has been scheduled for the distance. What adjustments would you like to see from Romero here in round number two? 
really just to settle down. I mean, he's not going to settle down because oh, yes. maybe no need to settle down tonight. <laughs> but it's moving forward that you got to worry Four, about. Five. Good shot, though. Six. Seven. Eight. Come to me. You doing good? Hands up. Hands up. All right. You good? Yeah. Okay. So far, so good after a big right hand from Rolis Romero, who goes right after Amatovs. Big left hook now, and he's down for the second time in the fight. Look at that high. Three. That happened four, quick, Bernardo. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come to me. Come to me. You ready to go? The danger here is he can't see the left hook that just dropped him out of that right eye, which has swollen immediately here Show me in something. the onset of Show round me number two. Yeah, this will be over soon. One more good shot lands, and that may be it. But you see the young fighter getting hit again. He gets away with it tonight, but five fights up the road, will he still get away with it? You have to think like that if you're a trainer. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it. That's the that's end it. That's of it. the that's fight it. here that's it. That's it. That's as it. Rolando that's Romero it. stops that's Archer's it. Amatov. It's over. People are complaining here in the corner of Amatovs, but at the end of the day, that mean mug showed you exactly what he came to do. Rolis Romero improves to 11-0, right. 10 knockouts. Thank you, babe. Thank you, babe. That eye was only going to get worse and make things much more dangerous. Yeah, that, that corner's not getting hit, so it's easy to say that that fight should have continued. I think that was a great stoppage by the referee. No need to let that uh, continue because, you know, what's, what's going to happen? The guy take five or six more shots? Just unnecessary. I mean, Rolando Romero, Rolis was able to establish himself early in round two. But the concern is still the same. Moving forward against top-level oppositions. And we're talking about Teofimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia in this weight class. You can't afford to make Got to keep working on, but good talent, and I like him. Yeah, I mean, he's nice got fighter. the tools. He's got to put it together in terms of polishing, but a rough diamond that if you take care of it. Yeah, yeah. Whew, yeah, yeah. He's got upside. He definitely has upside with 10 knockouts in 11 professional fights. Ray Flores with the official time. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes 1 minute 22 seconds of the second round. Referee in charge, Robert Hoyle, waves off the bot for your winner by technical knockout and still undefeated, Rolando Rolio Romero.